My name's Richard Goodnow, and I was born and raised in Lakeview, Oregon, and I came to Southern Oregon College to further my education and decided that we wanted to buy property and found property in the Applegate, and I've been living here since 1972. Where's the property? On the left fork of Humbug Creek. Who'd you buy it from? Uh, Johnny Kiter. Had he lived there a long time? He had lived there a long time. I don't know a whole lot about him. Uh -huh. um, Were there um, crops there? Forest? It, it was. It was a south-facing brush field. Part of it had been cleared for cattle grazing, summer grazing. So, and after I'd been living here for several years, I'm guessing five or six years, a first cousin of my mother wrote a book about my mother and her grandparents. And my would be my great-great-grandfather was kind of a traveling preacher type and wandered by wagon all over Idaho, Oregon, and Northern California. And in one of his tracks, when he still only had about five kids, they were walking from Idaho um, to New Pine Creek, Oregon, and wintered over in Missouri Flat. Uh, while they were wintering over here, he performed several marriages um, by to people with local names. There was a Slagle and a Scott and yeah. I can't recall others, but there were several. Also, while they were here that winter, my grandmother was born and as soon as she was old enough to travel, which was about six weeks old, they started out again for Eastern Oregon. And in doing so, in May, they were caught in a snowstorm on the Green Springs and spent four days in a wagon before a farmer came by and helped them get out. That's pretty much my story. So what's her name? Uh, my grandmother's name is uh, Emma Powell, and she was uh, a Sutherland. Her maiden name was Sutherland. Thank you very much. That's a great story. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome.